Welcome to our springtime bird behavior special. As the season blooms, so do the hormones of our feathered friends. Join me, my name is Donna, and this is Tinkerbell, my rosy bird parakeet, as we explore the signs of springtime hormones in our pet birds. As the daylight hours get longer in the springtime, it triggers the release of hormones in birds, which gives them the urge to want to breed. It is a normal and natural behavior with birds that are sexually mature. Bird owners call this season either courtship season, breeding season, mating season, screaming and biting season, or hormonal season. They are all the same season to us bird owners. Any bird that is sexually mature will most likely become hormonal during the springtime, including solo birds, a pair or a flock of the same sex, male and females of different species, and especially a pair of the same species that is male and female are the most likely to be most hormonal. Hormonal season happens every year for the bird's whole life. The urge to breed may lessen with age. You may be wondering why your sweet baby bird has turned into a biting, screaming, unmanageable bird. It's because your sweet bird has become sexually mature. Unfortunately, springtime is when many birds are rehomed due to their behaviors and their owners lack of knowledge about hormonal birds. The good news is that their hormonal season typically lasts for a few weeks to a few months and your bird will be back to its normal self. Here are some signs your bird may be hormonal. A birds will exhibit heightened chewing and shredding behavior. They will chew and shred their toys, cage paper, explore walls and baseboards, and investigate any object within the reach of their beak. Additionally, they'll show a particular fondness for chewing on cuttle bone and mineral blocks, especially the females, due to the understanding of their body's needs for additional supplements. This increased activity extends to their dietary habits, with females consuming more food and displaying a heightened craving for protein-rich foods. They will start to search for nesting sites such as under cage papers, in curtains, boxes, blankets, clothes, cushions on couches, cupboards, drawers, or any dark, small, enclosed area. When hormonal, they will become more vocal than usual. Canaries and finches will sing their hearts out and parrots will scream, whistle, or talk louder and more frequently. Birds often exhibit natural behaviors such as regurgitation, particularly on shiny surfaces like bells or stainless steel bowls where they can catch the reflection, as well as on their favorite persons. They also engage in preening and feeding rituals with other birds. They may be drawn to mirrors within the home as they see the reflection. Those synergies hanging out here on the side of the cage because he sees himself in the mirror there of the cabinet. Look at this, look at this. trying to figure out how to get in there. Additionally, they may display signs of comfort or arousal by panting, crouching with wings extended, or indulging in self-soothing behaviors, whether it's on a favorite object, purchase, or even in the presence of their owner from afar. 
Birds may display submissive behavior that they've never displayed before. They will fly to their favorite person and want to be cuddled and snuggled or climb up and down their shirt. A bird that is bonded to their person cannot understand why its mate shows no sign of interest. This can turn into sexual frustration for the bird. The drive to produce is so great that the frustration can manifest into screaming, biting and other aggressive behaviors. If your bird seems more territorial than usual, then that can also be a strong sign that its hormones are coming into play as well. A hormonal bird may be very possessive over their cage, food, toys, or even their favorite human until the hormonal season is over. Birds may pluck their own feathers, especially on their chest, to line the nest and may pluck their mate to entice them to breed. They may also pluck due to sexual frustration. They may be more restless, active and more aggressive and will bite hard and mean it. They may fly at you and attack and may refuse to step up, do the recall or anything you ask them to do. They may chase and fight other birds, cause them harm, and try to mate with different species, especially if there are solo species. However, even when there are the same species, they may choose a different species to feed and mate with. Male birds showcase their charm through a mesmerizing display of singing, dancing, strutting, and fluffing up their feathers, all to captivate the attention of their potential mate. In response, females become receptive, emitting soft, twittering chirps, while elegantly raising their tails, lowering their wings, and lowering their heads. Egg laying occurs in various locations from perches to the bottom of the cages, even in food bowls or during their free roam in a room, and occasionally, surprisingly, even in a person's lap or hand. Solo females possess the ability to lay infertile eggs without the presence of a mate. Before allowing birds to breed, thorough research should be conducted well in advance of hormone season to adequately prepare. Essential preparations include providing a properly sized nest box with suitable bedding, ensuring a nutritious diet to maintain the health of both parent birds and chicks. Additionally, familiarizing oneself with hand rearing techniques and acquiring necessary equipment is advisable particularly for instances when parents lose interest and hand raising becomes necessary for certain chicks. How to help hormonal birds. Cut back the hours of artificial lighting. Close the curtains or cover their cage with a dark cover or place them in a dark room. Offer 10 to 12 hours of sleep. Avoid touching, petting, and especially on the back, the wings, the tail, and belly as that stimulates sexual behavior. Do not engage with sexual behavior. Remove access to anything that resembles a nest. Remove any toys or objects that they are regurgitating on or self-pleasuring themselves. Change the cage location and change the inside of the cage around. Separate birds if housed together, especially if they're fighting. Rotate out of cage time for the birds that are chasing each other and fighting. Provide more cage time for birds that are normally out all day. Keep them entertained and engaged. Do training sessions, offer new toys, and create foraging opportunities to keep them busy. Move them room to room, especially if they are fixated with an area of your house. A busy bird is less likely to scream and bite. Avoid feeding warm or wet food as they see it has regurgitated food. Offer less protein, fats, and starches has an abundance of food triggers breeding. Instead, feed cool or room temperature fresh foods. Remove any mirrors within the cage and cover mirrors within the home while the birds are out. It's energy, come on. I covered up the mirror so he can't see himself. I gotta get him into the cage because it's cleaning time and I just need them all in the cage so I can clean. 
Remember, the drive to produce offspring is so great, so be patient until the breeding season is over and consult with an avian veterinarian if behaviors are severe and lengthy. Thank you for joining me in Springtime Hormones. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy the video on the screen. Until next time, happy birding! Thank <laughs> you.